A Senate committee will meet tomorrow to talk about the Norfolk Southern train derailment, specifically the environmental and public health threats and the chemical release. Several East Palestine residents are headed to D.C. for that hearing with a plan to present a list of five community demands. Those demands are based on community input from hundreds of residents in the town. Here in our area, demonstrators came together not too long ago. In fact, they're still at it at the Norfolk Southern Tracks in Fremont. Kaylee Kirby is there live tonight. Kaylee, they're demanding something. Yeah, Melissa, the first thing they are demanding is safety. They say it needs to be done and it needs to be done now. The other thing they want is accountability. Right behind me, this railroad track is one of Norfolk Southern's track. And about 45 minutes ago, we had a train come right through here while the protesters were here. And only steps from this railroad track are these protesters right here. Signs honk for safety. Safety got railroaded. There's another one all the way down at the end that says Fremont, the next East Palestine. The people protesting here in Fremont are rail workers, frustrated community members and activists. And as you can hear, people driving by really in support of them and supporting the people in East Palestine over uh, East Palestine over what happened. They are demanding stricter laws and more accountability. This right here is one of the railroads and that's why these protesters are here because they know a derailment can happen here and that's why they say they want these changes. Take a listen. It's, a, it, it's an important industry, but that doesn't put it beyond regulation and it doesn't put it beyond safety considerations. There's many modern improvements that can be made. Norfolk Southern knows how to do it. They know how to use modern braking systems that would reduce the um, risk of a big derailment. Now the protesters here are about wrapping up, but they say other things that need to be made are safety changes. There need to be more inspections and there needs to be a list and for people to know when hazardous material is coming by. Coming up at six, I'll have another live report on what some other protesters are saying and why they are demanding these changes. Reporting live in Fremont, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11.